it's Leah and I am back with a mini album share um, for those of you who have been following my um, my YouTube uh, videos you know that I've been talking for <laughs> probably almost a year about how I needed to make a book for my niece Olivia well Olivia is about to turn one <laughs> So, um, and I'm going to see her for the first time, um, on my vacation, um, down for this wedding that I'm going to in Florida. And I was like, I gotta get cracking. I gotta finally get this book done. So I did. I'm really happy with the way it came out. It came out exactly the opposite of everything that I thought I was going to do when I started out on this project a year ago. Um, the papers I used were, uh, pick paper that I picked up a whole collection at, um, at Tuesday morning. Uh, it is the Country Charm Collection from GCD Studios, and it was designed by Maureen Ka Diane Kappa. Um, what a fantastic collection. These bold colors here. I'm just gonna bring this up so you can see what all the different papers in the collection look like. Um, strawberries and um, cherries, and it's very, it's called Country Charm, again, and just, I mean, the, the the color density first off is amazing i mean it's they're so bold they're so rich um the patterns were just so pretty um and i said oh this is perfect for a little girl book and i picked it up and i got the deal of the century it was the co everything was separate it wasn't like a whole kit but like it, this pad alone would have been fifteen dollars it was marked down at their prices to 4.99 plus i think it was like 40 percent off plus 50% off the 40% off. So I got everything. I got this uh, 6x6 paper pad, or this is 8x8. The 8x8 paper pad, the 12x12 paper pad, brads, which I didn't end up using, but I'm going to find a use for them, I'm sure. Uh, borders, which I used and you'll see in the package, uh, I mean in the book. Chipboard letters, which were not stickers. <laughs> but I'm kind of glad they weren't because it, it enabled me to reposition everything. Um... And these chipboard um, embellishment flowers and things. These were stickers, which was great. Um, I got it all for like less than 10 bucks, guys. I mean, you really need to keep an eye out. When there is a good deal, jump on it because it might not be there the next time you go. And that's very um, rare. Uh, I think it's like once uh, or twice a year. Tuesday morning does 50% off their entire clearance section. So... Uh, definitely go check them out um, if you have one in your area. Okay, so here's the book. I'm going to be quick about it because I've already wasted like three minutes. Um, but um, what I did was I reclaimed a book. I cut out the inside and kept the outside and decorated and added signatures to the inside of the book. It's an envelope style mini album with a waterfall in the back, which I had never done a waterfall before. I watched a video from uh, Ginger at My Sister's Scrapper here on YouTube. Um... Uh, what a great waterfall tutorial, especially for somebody who was scared to death. I don't know why I was so scared to make one, guys. I don't know. But um, it's so easy, and it came out, like, really nice, and I was able to do it in, like, five minutes. So I'm probably exaggerating. Probably a little more than five. But, okay. So, oh, the other items that I used, I used a cutout from Pebbles. I got it um, in the loose paper section at AC Moore, and it was, a like, a little girl set where it was, like, first tooth, first this, first that. They had a boys one too, um, but they didn't, that's the only thing I know about it. They don't have a name for it exactly. But I kept the manufacturer strip because I love that that chevron. It's pretty. I'm going to use it for something else. Um, also these from American Crafts uh, were from the same look. It was like a summer something that I got last year to go along with the book. And you've seen, I've used some of this stuff in my scrapbooking uh, pages before, but these were like a puffy sticker. And, like a plastic puffy sticker, so it needed extra glue on the back, and then chipboard piece, not chipboard, this is like regular cardstock pieces, little embellishments, and they're super cute. Great little things. I had other plans, guys. I was gonna do this whole like summer, sweet summer thing, because she was born in the summer, and it was gonna like pop, soda pop caps, and I, I went a completely di different direction. Um, so here you can see I used the chipboard pieces, I used, uh, I liked mixing up the um, 8x8 pattern paper with the 12x12 12 because 12, you can see the difference. I mean, here's the larger version of the pattern paper. And then when you look, when it's just a little bit smaller, it just adds a little more punch. And then I mounted that. I used the chipboard letters, some of my puffy stickers, some of my cutouts, some puffies, the chipboard stickers. I mean, they stand, the chipboard stickers stand out really high from the page, which is not too high. Actually, it's, it's like, I feel like these are just the right 
size. Sometimes I feel like they're a little big. Put my logo on there and glossy accents so it wouldn't get messed up. And let's open up the book. Oh yeah, what else did I use? Wait, wait, wait. I also use cards from Becky Higgins Project Life um, Baby Edition for her, which you can't get unless you get it on clearance right now. If you can find it, good luck. Um, they had the, I think the just the girl one went on clearance. No, the boy one did and a holiday one went on clearance. And right now at Michael's, they're having a, a ha well, they were having a half price off their orange and green tag. So, you know, I doubt they're around anymore, but definitely look and see if you can't find these extension packs um, are always going on clearance. So uh, they're a good thing to pick up. Um, this is bigger than the like value packs like this that I usually get. Um... But I liked it because it was I wanted to use the baby girl for something else, but I ended up using it to just add a little bit more color because the collection was very much like pink, red, green, blue, yellow, done. You know, and so I was like, oh, I want a little more color and and this helped bring in just some yellows and oranges to round it out. Okay. So inside here is a cutout from that Pebbles page. It's zooming. Can you guys see? Okay, there we go. Um, this is a cutout from that page. Um and it says the baby's name and all the information. You can put a photo. I put the chipboard sticker there. Um, and then each signature, there's three signatures, has a, um, a photo little tag that I made. And on each side, I put a cutout. So this is like the gray page. So everything in here was gray. And then I added the yellow too. Um, and I added the puffy stickers, one to each side of each of the cards. And I distressed around the edges with some like really affordable ink. It was like Studio G ink. Okay. And then when you open it up, there's a little pocket here. I used the borders to make like a little pocket at the bottom. And uh, if you're looking to see how to make these uh, envelope pages, you can go to Kathy Orta and look up envelope mini album and you'll see it there. Some American Crafts twine right there love it i just made a little bow actually this one didn't have the holes punched but two other ones from the this is from the chip the cardstock cutouts and uh two of them had the punch so i just used this punch here i think it's the one eighth punch and uh i just lined it up and punched the holes in the top so they would all match because you know me i like the matchy matchy so yeah and then i took one of the large size cards from the um project life and this is yellow. And then in the back of the page, I also did some more yellow cards. And this one says, you are loved. And then each one has also in this pocket, a spot for four by six photo front and back. And then I put the puffy on the back of this. And this tag was cut out from, there were like three of these. Originally this was going to have four signatures and I moved it down to three because there were only three of these. <laughs> I know, guys, I have a weird sickness about everything being balanced, but that's just me. That's the way I operate. Everybody's different, right? Okay. So each one of them has that. So each one has a tag with this little uh, ticket on top, and then in the back has that little puffy sticker. And then these were from the, uh, in the top, there's a pocket, and this was uh, uh, from the uh, cardstock papers also. And that just goes right in the top of the page. Each page also has washi across the top that matches the washi that I did here on this page. And the reason I did this, like this, I did washi around and then I did this blue paper. And the reason that I did that was because I messed up. But you know, you gotta kinda like go with it, guys. When you make a mistake, you just gotta go, okay, I'm the mistake's there, but I've gotta fix it and figure it out. So I put this on and glued it down before I put the decorative paper onto the, onto the envelope, uh, onto the little insert for the for the envelope page and I was like man what am I gonna do so I found that the washi tape was easy to fit like just behind there and then I put the blue paper on top so it created just a nice little mat and a little bit of difference so it's not just all pattern paper all the way across and then these are um, from the project life pocket pages uh, inserts and on each one I did one that has a, a block letter and then one that has I feel like it's a little bright Oh, that's too bright. Maybe that's just going to have to stay. <laughs> the other way is too dark. Okay, and then your last page of the signature. I did a card. And the card has a little pocket. Oh, I should probably put more of these little things. 
Let's see. What do I got? One? There we go. I'll just stick a little something like that in there so she knows she's a little pocket. It just goes right back in there and it's just a little folder to do like storytelling uh, photography. So what I when I have these books, what I do is uh, in my husband's book, I um, I'll start telling the story on the front page. And then as you pull it out the whole booklet, the story continues with the photographs throughout the whole page. And like I'll do the journaling on the first page so you know what's going on. So that's it. And so as I go through the through here, you can just see I just did. I just did uh, the same thing over and over again in this one. It has uh, blues. It's this little tag here. This one here. The veggies here. On the back of this one I did. It says cheer and sunshine. <laughs> Super cute. I can't wait to meet her. She is the spitting image of my husband's brother. I mean, she looks exactly like her daddy. It's so funny. I'm like, oh, look, it's a little mini... Uh, Little mini Dan. She's just adorable and she's so babbly and cute and I just can't wait to squeeze her little cheeks. This one did the pink again because I did the pink card in there. I'll tuck that into that little. I love this. I saw Kathy Arda did this when she did hers. I don't always put this little um, strip on the bottom, but I thought it could be fun. Okay, another one of these. What do I need? Pink. <laughs> I'm like, I can't believe I'm like putting this together while I'm talking to you guys, but. Whatever, I'll find it later. So yeah, this one says, oh, she holds up her own head and I added a little twine to each of these tags. And then the last page. I love this one, this is first tooth. And I just added this little blue enamel heart just to kind of bring a little bit of, a little something without being distracting. That one says memories. I love those little puffy stickers too, but boy, do you need to make sure you put glue because those things slide right off. I had one slide off a page and I, um, of one of my uh, one of my scrapbook pages, and I, for the life of me, couldn't find it for a while, and then it popped up. It got stuck to something else in my in my house, and I was like, oh, okay. I love this one. It says you are my sunshine. It's super cute. And on the back, I did orange in this pocket. And I did the orange just to bring a little some more zest to the book because it was looking a little monotone. Here we have this one. More steps. This is first steps and date. So she can create a story again with maybe this. Or she doesn't. I don't know. Whatever. However they want to use it. And then this is also a cutout. And this, these little tags were cutouts from that pebbles sheet. And then this is the waterfall. Oh, my God. So easy to make. I'm debating whether I'm going to cover it with paper, but I probably won't. I mean, I like that there's a little bit of a break from uh so it says daddy said uh said daddy and then so he can they can journal here or something that daddy said maybe about her or at some time something cute so that's really it guys that's the whole thing i i enjoyed putting the waterfall and i may do this again the next time i do uh a book like this because I just feel like it just added so nicely uh, to the book and made it a little more exciting. Um, thank you for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed the book. I'm super happy I finally got this thing done. <laughs> I mean, you know, a year. It only took me a year, guys, to fulfill a promise I said I was gonna I was gonna do. But um, yeah, hopefully uh, it won't take so long to fulfill other promises like finishing the um, the first Make This With Me project. We're so close to being done. If you're following how to do that, please keep an eye out. I'm going to publish one more video this week before um, I, uh, I, uh, I go on my vacation so that the book is ready um, before I leave so when I come back, I can decorate. Okay, thanks again for stopping in. You have a great day. Bye.